Skål. Skål. Hello everyone and welcome to today's rum review. Today we have a rum I have I absolutely do not know. Um, it's called Summum. Um, and this particular one, I just have my notes here, just so you know. This one is a 12-year-old cognac cask finish. So that's really exciting. Normally I don't like whiskey and rum that's finished or has in any way been in cognac casks because I really I kind of don't like cognac so I but this one seems like it's very good from what I've read from the distillery and the bottle so I'm very excited to try it out it's a Dominican Republic rum and it's 43 percent alcohol it cost around 380 Danish crowns for 70 centiliters so that's around uh, 40 English pounds, uh, maybe 45 American dollars and euro or euros. So quite quite a cheap one, but that doesn't mean that it can't be good. Um, it's a Solera system rum, but at the end of this, when they take the rum out, they finish it off in cognac casks. I couldn't find anywhere how long they were in these cognac casks or what kind of cognac it is. Um, or if it was first, second, third, or what what number of fills uh, this cognac cask ha has. So, well, that's um. Maybe we can guess when we uh, taste and nose it. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunately chill filtered, and it is unfortunately artificially colored. So I think. Yeah, that's what I put down in my notes. Let's get into the most important stuff. As always, of course, this is the nosing and tasting. There's no sponsored content in this video, and as always, everything on this channel is just my opinion. If you think something else, then I say um, have a different opinion, that's just fine. You could leave it down in the comment, and we could have a um, discussion about it, but anyway, it's okay. That's the good thing about this. It's all about opinion and how, and each person's preference. So, a little bit of legs, but not that much actually. And it's actually not that dark. So maybe the artificial, artificially coloring isn't that much. There's definitely sweetness and fruitiness in the um, in the uh, in the in the nose, um, but there's also um, a feel of white wine, some tannins and stuff like like there would be in white wine. Caramel, very sweet caramel. Butterscotch. Oh, there's really... There's a little bit of sharpness to the nose, but not much. Um, so you can really take it in and really try and savor it. There's a... Um, if, you, if you see my videos... Uh, like a year ago, I did a video about a, a vodka, a dark vod vodka, um, Supravco Palona, I think it was called. It has a little bit of that same um, sweetness. That's Mars. Now I know what it is. It's almonds and uh, marzipan. Is that what it's called in English? It's definitely there. Very obvious. Cherries. It was there from the beginning, but I couldn't put my finger on what it was until just now. Almonds, marzipan, and uh, cherries. Very nice. 
very nice smell. And now that um, wine and all the other things is just kind of in the back and this thing that I just said pops out there in the front. There's also some fruitiness, fruit cake. Um, what is that? A little bit of vanilla. A lot of different uh, burnt sugar, brown sugar. Um, a lot of different um, just caramel and, and butterscotch and fudge and stuff like that. Very interesting smell because it's not overly sweet and it's very complex. There's all these layers. Wow, this is really a big surprise that the nose is like this. So, let's do the tasting. It's good. It's good. A little bit of sharpness on the tongue at first. And the, um, the palate is pretty much the same as the nose. Except for that uh, almonds, marzipan, and cherries. There's all those sweetness, all that fruitcake, and all that. And all that um, different kinds of caramel. But only just light, very light flavor. Um, but instead of light, maybe elegant. And... Um, what is that? You know, yeah, elegant is probably the right word. The finish is very long, and 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 there's a little bit of warmth. Uh, it's smooth. There's actually some oak and some 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 other woods and spice. Weird flowery. Maybe it's actually tea. Some feel of black or green tea. And then also that marzipan and uh, almonds and cherry. This is uh, very good if you take the price into consideration. It's actually really good if you don't. Second time I nose it, there's all these um, uh, caramel types, fudge, butterscotch, all that just pops out. And then the fruit cake, um, and then, as I said before, almonds, cherries, and marzipan. Now there's no sharpness at all. It's very good. Just hints of, hints of, um, not cognac, it's more like wine. Hints of wine in there, white wine. There's good, still quite a lot of sharpness in the palate. Um, and the palate is caramel, fruit, fruit cake, probably. And, and the finish is that cherry and marzipan and almonds. And then all these other things like black tea, wood, spice, and it's warmth. This is very good. I'm gonna put it out there and say this is the best rum or whiskey uh, that's been finished in cognac casks that I've ever had. Very good, very good. Normally I don't really like the ones that has been finished in cognac, so maybe it's not saying a lot, but I really, really enjoy this. This is very good. This is very, very good. But where to put it? Um, it has a lot of the things that I really do like about 
um, it has complexity and it has and, and a little bit of sharpness at the palate, a lot of warmth in the finish. The finish is long, it's complex, very good. Even though there's still sweetness, it has all these other things as well. Mm. I would be putting this at an 8, which is, um, when you think about it, at 40 pounds, $45, is very high for, for that price range. So um, you should definitely, I, or let me rephrase that, you, I highly recommend this, highly recommend this, the Summum 12-year-old cognac cask finish. It's a very good rum, and as I said, highly recommended. You should definitely try it. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with friends and family. Um, please comment down below. I respond to all comments always. I especially do like the comments with uh, serious questions about what I drink, what I do, and serious ideas about what to do next. So please do comment. There's not that many comments in my on my um, videos. Uh, actually, there's almost none in the last couple of uh, months. So I don't know why that is. But please just say hi if that's what you want. Any comment, I will respond. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, and maybe hit that bell button so you don't miss out on future videos. The next one will be a rum video and I think it would be Thursday or Friday and then there won't be any videos until next week i have two sorry three rum videos and after that i think i will be going back to beer there's a couple of beers that have been recommended so i will definitely try those if i can't get my hands on them um yeah oh yeah one last thing please check out my instagram if you like what you see there give me a follow there as well that would really mean a lot to me as well and maybe hit this uh, help this channel grow a little bit uh, it's been um, unfortunately not moving very much the last as i said the last couple of months just kind of trying to get my remote to work there i go so yeah keep an eye out for the next coming uh rum video and next week three more rum videos thank you for watching bye bye